Let's talk about those eyebrows. Whether you have thin, kind of sparse brows like I do naturally, or you pluck them into tiny little thin lines, or they're just kind of naked and the hair fell out at some point, whatever you've got going on, one of the biggest mistakes I see is the incorrect direction of grooming of the brow. If you are trying to slick them, which I see a lot of folks doing, there's nothing wrong with looking older, but you don't need to drag your eye down and give the illusion that it's falling or drooping more than it actually is when the easiest fix you could do is just to take this little tool right here called a spoolie and raise your brow higher. Look at, look at the difference that makes, right? So try it right now. Notice the direction. I'm going straight up and try to avoid because I, I see everybody do this. They, oh God, no, I can't go straight up. Yes, you can. And then if it gets unruly here, well, maybe you need to trim your brows a bit, um, but you can always just take the end of the spoolie and flick down the top of those hairs that are standing up maybe a little too far. Now I know people are gonna ask who don't have a lot of hair right at the end. They feel like it's too sparse and they wanna fill it in. I'm not a fan of the marker effect. I think the easiest thing to do and the most natural looking thing is just to go along the top of the brow first where there's already hair and roots and follow the existing line. So you're basically filling in what I call the naked areas very, very lightly. And then kind of scooping the hair back and seeing where else you might need a little bit more. Now, I really don't think that you need to go very heavy with it. Inside the Healthy Beauty Oasis, we have an entire tutorial with a brow expert answering lots of questions on microblading, tattooing, how to get the right brow shape for your face, etc. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of that detail here. Okay, I don't wanna overdo it. I just wanted to show you that just by adding a little bit of a light color to fill in those sparse areas adds another dimension to your face that looks really natural and it's fairly easy to accomplish. Try it out. Let me know how it goes for you in the comments below. Ask any questions you got and stay tuned because there are more videos in this series on fabulous tips and tricks to do beauty more beautifully when you are over 40.